Okay, today doing one on a uh, Maverick 250. I've done them before, but this is a customer's, um, a local. I'm behind on uh, my repairs, so just trying to get my um, uh, customer repairs out the way. Uh, I'm behind. I owe a few people a few things um, as far as repairs, so we're getting to it. But anyway, uh, Maverick 250 grounded grid sweep two box. You know, we know these backwards, forward, sideways, so uh we went ahead and knocked this easy one out so to say and um just to repair didn't do a total rebuild and all that you know jazz uh for it um, um maverick 250 it's got you know people ask how do you tune them how do you tune them well know what your tuners are up top or to the right the tune and load are your for your output. Tune and load. Tune those for max. But those only work on the high side on this amp. How this amp works is you have um, four small baldies. That's a baldy. No plate on top. Driving four of the uh, bigger grounded grid tubes. Um, four six GJ, JG6 and family driving four 6LQ6 six and family tubes. Um, so anyway the um on the high side the four small ones drive the four big ones right on the low side on this one and they even though dna made a few different versions where they didn't always do it that way but on this version on the low side all this running is the four baldies it's not um activating or using the four uh, larger tubes at all on the low side uh, of this amplifier. There are other versions of this and the Phantom. Some have it this way, with the on the lowest just the four, and other versions on the low side. Uh, it's got half the high voltage. It uses the four driving four, but instead of 800 volts on the plate, it uses 400 volts on the plate. And then I've seen triple stages and quad power where, you know, it might put um, 400 on the drivers and 800 on the um, finals and, you know, stuff like that to make it quad power type. You know, they just put the voltages at different places. But anyway, this is a dual power. And on the uh, high, four driving four, 800 volts. And on the low, Still 800 volts, but you're just working off the uh, four driver tubes. Um, that there's the Kian's tube. Um, this is an older one, and then some of the newer ones they went from a um, tube Kian circuit to a transistor Kian circuit. Two transformers. Um, DNA basically used one transformer per every four tubes. So like a 10 and 12 tube Phantom has three transformer and a 16 tube Warrior has four transformer. Also on this one, and I think most of the other ones, again, they had so many different configurations of it. This meter goes to the um, high side, tells you what the high side is doing. And this meter tells you what the driver tubes are doing. Tune and load for your outputs, only in effect on the high side. And then, when you're on the high side, it's only working off this driver tune here. And then that tremor right there, screwdriver adjustment would be the load on the high side. On the low side, since you're only working off the driver tubes, it uses a different tune and load for the driver tubes on the low side. It uses this tune and load right here for the low side. So you're tuning the driver tube since they're going to the output instead of going into the um, uh, final tubes it's a different uh, it needs different tune and load parameters so it has a separate tune and load so when you go on the uh, low side with those tubes you're just tuning these so high side tune up these tune the driver tune tune the driver load in there carefully with a screwdriver you got 800 volts running around in there and on the low side just tune these two over here in the back is the input tune for your input SWR 
and uh, that's about it as far as tuning this thing uh, one thing about this amp people like you know how do you work on them well you know hard to tell somebody where to start at and what to do with this thing right but I will say one quirk or problem child with the uh, Maverick 250 and the Phantom 500 is just a bigger version of this pretty much works the same way is that resistor right there I kind of pulled it out a little bit so you could see it um, brown black gold that's a one ohm resistor it goes right across the meter um, and that uh, actually reads the output of the grid so what happens is that resistor opens or goes high the grid isn't uh, basically getting the correct power and you will get very little output you can't get much out of them all because of that resistors went high that's a big culprit on why uh, a Maverick 250 and a Phantom 500 won't put out oftentimes check that resistor there for one ohm also be careful with this amp um, and the Phantom 2 it does not originally come with any bleeder resistors um, I replaced the caps there also those electric lytics there somebody had put in a 30 amp fuse instead of a 20 and it blew anyway and also they had put in a short fuse um, instead of the longer um, AGC style I think that's a three quarter and I think the regular fuse is a one inch if I remember right but I'm getting old and forgetful so if I'm wrong hey forgive me so anyway I uh, recapped it with those caps put in bleeders because without bleeders that thing will hold a charge for forever um, so be careful before you go with this amp because originally it does not have any uh, bleed or equalizing resistors um, it could kind of get away without having the equalizing resistors because it runs on 800 volts and um, it's got 450 volt caps in it I think some had 350 volt caps but anyway it's got enough voltage on the caps to have a um, safety margin and it has a very high safety margin so the uh, caps will still work even if they're not totally equal but better design safety and all that um, put some um, bleeder slash equalizer resistors on there that's one quirk about this amp uh, another thing especially this version that that switches from the um, final tubes to just the driver tubes it uses a relay to do that and then most of this or half of that stuff there these long um, open wire uh, leads going to it going to that relay um, switches the power from going into the final tubes to the driver tubes and your different tune and load that uh, coil there goes to the final from the drivers to the final and then this one is for the uh, drivers and then it comes back around goes through the relay and through the output through all that wiring there I don't like that and this amp uses three relays that's your standard antenna relay switches the uh, input and the output around and when you're um, not keyed up or not using the amp that's your feed through loop right here that takes the input and hooks it right directly to the output then when you key that relay down it takes the input and puts it into the driver tubes and the output from the final tubes goes you know through the relay into the output but while it has three lays this one here is the high side power relay that applies power only when you key up this relay also the center tab either keys up this high side power relay which puts its power and high voltage onto the um, both the driver and the final tubes and then this relay when it's in effect it not only switches the um, driver tubes to the output it applies power to the driver tubes only because this one is not being engaged so 
low side is just engaging this one taking power to the driver tubes the high voltage and taking the power out the driver tubes and putting it um, over here to the output whereas this one um, when it's engaged it puts the high voltage on both of them only when it's keyed down and the power um, is still going through this one but this one isn't engaged and the high, high um, power out just actually it's, that's not true it doesn't go through this one it goes through that um, the output goes through that coax there and then on the low side it goes through this um, silver wire here bare wire there right and then they're connected together to there but anyway a lot of relays another big problem of this amplifier and the um, Phantom 500 is dirty relays that's nine contacts of stuff to go wrong you got three contacts in that one and three in that one and three in that one and each of those contacts serve a purpose of um, taking the RF power and putting it somewhere or the um, high voltage power and putting it somewhere if you got a dirty contact it's not going to um, take the power and distribute it where it's supposed to be so a huge problem with these amplifiers are dirty relays so um, you know I get them recap them clean the relays uh, check everything for anything burned um, check your fuses you know people put in 30 amp fuses this uh, schematic it takes a 20 which is actually very large but then somebody put a 30 in there and blew it um, and that's basically I think all I wanted to go through on this amplifier so we're gonna fire it up except for the so many knobs with the output tune and load um, high side driver tune and then the uh, low side tune and load uh, on this one two two power dual power maverick um, again that switch there on up it's high power um, the four driving four and then down it's just a low power the four um, baldy driver tubes SSB delay on the relay standby operate operate light and then um, power on it says filament on because basically it's just running the filament until you key down and then those uh, relays we mentioned before when you key down actually apply the power to the um, to the two so since it does it that way it won't go up and smoke in standby as some amps could that had the high voltage on the tubes all the time but the downside of that is having an extra relay that's switching on that high voltage all the time you know over time you know every key down is turning the high voltage on and you get sparks and arcs and it uh, destroys that relay hits it and all that so again uh, big problem with this um, these uh, phantoms these DNA is all the relays in them clean the relays so we ought to be warmed up I think we're on the high side so I'm just gonna key it down 3-4 watt radio over here is the watts in to the left over here is the watts out that's the 20 watt scale that's the uh, 2000 watt scale looks like it's on peak so I'm just gonna leave it at that so over here on the left three and a half watts in audio audio it's leaning to about six on average if I can zoom in 1.5 input SWR not too bad audio and over here is the uh, watts out did keen about 175 audio audio Shh. talking about three and a quarter audio if I left it on and let it heat up a little bit more it would uh, and tweaked it a little bit it would do um, close to about 375 peak and that's with just fair tubes um, you got an oddball tube here and there you know a little bit of mismatch tubes one in the bottom left on the output is different and then um, 
that baldy there doesn't have the little nipple on it so uh, not match tubes they are not a hundred percent so actually doing about what it was supposed to do with hotter tubes and then if I drove it harder instead of three and a half watts of course you can get more um, output out of them I hear people all the same say hey my take modified it and uh, I get a thousand watts out of this and 10 gigawatts out of that I'm like yeah 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 you can you could do it but not for long I meant to bring up my um, uh, power factor thing on a dummy load from MFJ to curve but I don't see it um, because I was gonna say that you can get those watts you know more watts more watts more watts but you know as that curve goes up very very steeply the time that it's gonna last before it dies and I always say you could do it but not for long there's no way to cheat that there's no way to cheat Ohm's law there's no way to uh, uh, beat that curve is you know plate dissipation and and transformer watts and power can't beat it can't beat mr. Ohm's law anyway um, gonna wrap this one up and uh, go to the next one we got other stuff in line we're behind we're just starting to come back from uh, um, being under the weather so we're doing better all right that's it for this one bye